Welcome back to another Mid Sussex Wargamers YouTube video. Um, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to be doing a My Hobby This Week video. Um, so, this week, as you can see in front of me, I've been doing some Star Wars Legion, um, and I've finally painted up some Stormtroopers. Um, so, I haven't shown on the channel yet, I have already done Darth Vader and Luke, um, and the ATRT, which I probably should have actually shown really. But um, I haven't done those this week, but I have done these this week. It's a Boba Fett, actually, I did a did a couple of weeks ago, but never mind. That's you don't need to know that. Uh so let's go straight into what I've done. So uh straight up here we have the commander of the unit. I don't know whether it's gonna focus. Probably not. No, nope. okay, this camera sucks. Um so the commander of the unit uh identifiable for me is a pointing post. I have picked out some extra which you'll notice from my other stormtroopers that I haven't done all the extra black bits along his armour here so he's got quite a bit of extra detail in, in the other guys um, really happy with how I've done the base as well I really cannot get the hang of this camera sorry guys um, so yeah and I've given him a blue shoulder pad because in the core box you get two stormtroopers and two units which all come in the exact same poses, so you do get two of each. Um, so I'm going to have to do them in different colours in case they ever cross paths on the battlefield and I lose track of who's who. So he's got the blue uh, shoulder pad, and if I show you a basic Stormtrooper here, they've got the blue sort of armour pieces, the greaves on the arm under here, very subtle, uh, so that's still good. So what I've done for the Stormtroopers is I sprayed them white to start. It's really annoying this isn't focusing exactly how I want it to. What might be easier is just to zoom in the camera because it's focusing fine there. Is that better? Yes, no, move these guys out of the way. Oof, I just have one on there. That's a little bit better. So what what I've done, um, we've got the rocket launch dude here. Get out of the way. Yeah, that's a little bit better. There we go. Great content, great content. So, what I've done, if I find a regular regular Stormtrooper, is I sprayed them white um, to start. Always a good start. Uh, and then absolutely drowned them in Null Oil to darken them up, um, to get in all the little crevices. And then worked up the white a little bit more, and then gave them a tiny little wash again uh, over the top at the end, just to give them... Because I couldn't really get the... Uh, the white to look that clean and shiny, or at least when I want it to, it never looks that way. Um, if I don't want it to look that way, like on a cloak or something, then it does look shiny. Um, and I'm sure I'll get plenty of tips on that in the comments, and by all means, please give them to me. Um, so yeah, they've got more of a dirty armour look, which I actually quite like. I think it looks quite good. And then the base is done with the, I can't remember the exact name of the texture paint, but it's literally just straight out of the pot, slap it on really thick, and you get a nice cracked base. Um, so I'm going to do everything the same. And then there's the sniper dude here. So I've done the sniper dude. One, two, three, four basic stormtroopers. And then the rocket launcher. And then the captain, which you may have seen if I flip him around here, as opposed to the normal one. Is all the extra black that he's got on him, on him as well, um, just to make him pop and stand out a little bit more. And then the final dude that I've gone with is Boba Fett, which I'm really happy with how his colours come out. Sorry, kick the camera. Um, really happy with how his colours come out. It's very Boba Fett colour. Um, the yellow is usually quite hard as well, and that's come out pretty crisp. His cloak, I'm really happy with the highlights. The fire, I usually struggle with, come out quite well. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy with them on the whole, and can't wait to get some games in with them. I've played with them a few times, but I can't wait to get some on the camera and show off what he can do, because he is pretty darn cool. Um, it's just Boba Fett, the pose is amazing. Um, it isn't like super, super highly detailed, 
um, like GW stand or whatever, but it's still, well, it's very easily identifiable as Boba Fett. It's got all his guns and war gear, um, it's got like his rockets on his wrists. Um, yeah, really, really cool. So that is what I've been up to this week. That's what I've done this week. Um, thank you very much for watching. Tune in next Friday to see what I've been up to next week, if anything, hopefully something. Um, I haven't got anything planned. It'll just be whatever I fancy. got no tournaments coming up or anything, so we'll see what gets done. So don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'll pop up a little subscription button around here somewhere and check out the two more cool videos down the bottom here. And until next time, thank you very much for watching.